Hello there and welcome back to some more Dragon Quest Builders 2. In the last episode what we did was we started work on this second floor and built uh, this nice communal bedroom for everyone to use while trying to increase the overall fanciness of the population. But we're going to check the tablet targets to see if there's anything else that I fancy doing right now. Okay. Build rooms your residents like. Build lots of different rooms. Right, okay. So... I was doing that because they needed somewhere to sleep. Now they've got somewhere to sleep. I will try and do a room that everyone likes. So the easiest way to do that, I guess, is to go back over here. Go to Rosie's room, because she almost already likes everything about it. So she likes everything. Complete. Look at the fanfare of this shit. <laughs> Incredible. Build rooms your residents like. Oh, ho, ho, another challenge complete, I see. Cracker cracking job, Josephus. Well, would you look, look at that? It's a mini medal. Thank you. If you can complete six more tablet targets, I might get bottomless pot yours even better. better. To the pip 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 for now. Okay, so I was going the wrong way. New health style, new hairstyles are now available. I was making it bigger, thinking, oh, well, obviously the size means she wants it bigger, but. That's not true. I've got to raise the... F I guess it's easy to keep the fanciness low as well because the... Uh... What does the farmer's bedroom need? Do they need two beds? Is that why I put two beds? Yeah, it's easy to keep the fanciness low when the room is small. Anyway, I've got to destroy this now because otherwise it will bother me. As it should. So it's going to clear this area out real quick. I could actually like five this bit, but I'll do it in a second. Actually, this is six, so it's perfect for two threes. I know what I'm saying, so you don't have to know. There we go. Perfecto mundo. Right, good. So that's a small, rosy sized bedroom. I could do that for every resident if I wanted. Maybe I have to for uh, a reason. But that's that's Rosie very happy. Okay, so I'll go to a tablet target here now. There's one about making animals mate. So which means I need to find out how to get a moreberry. Build a farm. Go lots of different... Crops. Okay, grow some wheat grass in a fenced off field and you have a paddock to keep them in one place. If you're wondering where to get wheat grass, just sail to Blossom, Bla uh, Blossom Bay even, and you'll be sure to find all you need. Okay, let's go build a farm.
we go. An enormous pen. Build a farm. Classic, I did it too big again. I'm always doing it too big. Oh, ho, ho, another challenge complete, I see. Crack a cracking job, Josephus. How would you look at that? It's a mini medal. Yay. Yeah. Such a smashing work, Josephus. Now that you have the perfect pen for them, I suspect you want to get, get, get some animals on your good side. The best, best, best way to a beast's heart is through its stomach, so if you want to make an animal happy, give it some gub, gub, gub. Keep your pens well stocked with plenty of plenty to eat, and there'll be a hit, hit, hit with any animals living in them. If you can complete five more tablet targets, I'll make that bottomless pot of yours even bit, bit better. Do the pit, pit, pit for now. You can make your animals happier by feeding them. Cats and dogs eat from a pet bowl, while other animals will eat crops or can be left to graze on wheatgrass. Howdy, have I got the solution for you? Shit. Shit. There we go. I've got all the wheat grass forever. They'll graze for days. I don't want it all covered in wheatgrass because it kind of feels a bit weird. Like, a field isn't just all grazing. It has parts that they don't want to graze on. There you go, cows. Enjoy. Chickens. Everything. Everyone. They can all have a great time. Yeah, I've got lots of different flowers growing. I got bored and was like, well, I just want to make loads of different flowers. So I made, like, a uh, Some sweet flowers. Yep. Oopsie, that's wrong, but it doesn't matter. Let's have I just wanted to butterfly the place up. I don't. Yeah, I just need to find out what these other crops are. I know what some of them are. Like leeks. I plant these leek seeds I've got in the ground. And then these sunflower seeds as well. Wait. I just put them away, didn't I? Dickhead. Alright, there we go. No problem. Uh, yeah, these sunflower seeds. These heat roots. Chilies. Okay, so chilies, I know. Here, we can grow these three, which I think will probably get me to the, the requirement of growing lots of different crops. I can also grow these sunflower seeds, which should get me towards building lots of different flowers types. Okay. And bamboo as well, but I think obviously these requirements were made before. Either way, since I only have to play it, plant it in tilled earth, I'm just going to grow lots of this shit, and eventually, work protocols complete. Eventually this will be like this, and then the bamboo, bamboo goes everywhere and spreads like wildfire, so I'm just going to have a little tiny like, corner of bamboo. Then you might be able to see it, but maybe not. Basically, once I've planted all this stuff, they should just grow it on their own, even if the, the scarecrow says, I want to grow whatever in this field. They should grow anything.
Alright, so next mission. If I choose to accept it, which I do, of course. New tag uh, targets materialize on the tablet. No problem. Make some very happy animals. Animals absolutely adore having some fresh wheatgrass or delicious meat to eat. Try feeding them some and send their contentment levels through the roof. Okay, how do I know how contented an animal is? I suspect my animals are quite unhappy. Ah, there we go, Eureka. Just have to learn some new recipe. Framed flowers. A beautiful bed of blossoms prepared as a special present. Another cute thing. That's because my sunflowers just grew. Yep. I know this game. So that's that one. Now we've got to wait for the different crops to grow. When that happens, we'll be super happy. Oh. So they're loving it so far. Can you till the earth with the wheat grass on, or are you gonna leave the wheat grass tiles alone? Oh, she's gonna leave the wheat grass tiles alone. Okay. No, that's fine, Rose. If you want to do that, that's that's all good. I guess I could go for some more wheat grass because they are actually eating it. They're reducing it to its like growing state. So if I get all these things, then she won't till the soil. See how contented my animals are. I mean, they're all going to town on the wheatgrass, so it should be fine. If I leave it, they will become super happy. I can also put the meat in the pet bowls. Or anything that they actually eat in pet bowls. What did you do? guy's been doing something. This cheeky doggo. I've got one slab of meat. I'm such a, a kind soul, you can have that. I guess I just need to find more kinds of meat that they'll actually enjoy. So I could make lots of... I don't know if they eat cooked meat, but they eat raw meat. So if I just get a load of raw meat from the rabbits around uh, Moonbook, that should be fine. But anyway, the animals will eventually become super happy by eating all, all that wheatgrass, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. We've got some love hearts already, so... That's working a treat. Okay, what's next? Go lots of different crops. I think I'll, I'll do that with the next set of crops that are growing. But let's go to the Scarlet Sands and see what's on that board that I haven't done, apart from selling things. Which will happen when it happens. Because I need to figure out what I need to do. Increase your overall fanciness. Breed some pets. Make lots of different food. Okay, I think if I make books, they'll probably buy them. Let's spend 10 gratitude points to learn to get some books. A hardback book full of swashbuckling stories and useful information. And then just sell, like, 30 of them. I'm assuming the books aren't all the same. 
Although maybe the game considers them all the same. Everything's basically been sold. I'm just going to make loads of decorative items that people might want to buy. With my infinite stack of money. Let's, uh, let's make some plushies. Although I might not have the cotton for that. Some material. Oh, yeah, I have that. Okay, so let's build 30 stuffed hammer hoods. Again, not that anyone's going to want them, but maybe they will. And then. Ooh. Those viper fountains are cool, but I, I don't want to. You know, use them in that way. A decorative chimera wing. I mean, I'd like that. That's that's pretty neat. Oh, look at them wearing the fur coats. Of course it would be Ordelia wearing it, the fucking weirdo. Drum kit. Let's maybe make ten of them. <laughs> Let's not go crazy. Oh, I can one-shot these guys. Seeds. Oh! Um. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I saw an enemy and went, "Okay, I'll I'll be fine." I just murdered it. Hopefully, that was a wild sheep, and not. One of my sheep. Because the sheep drop cotton and that's really useful. I mean, I guess I can look on the board. I'm not sure I want to look on the board, though. Oh, God. I killed my sheep. Okay, it's fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it matters a bit. Can't stow that. So I can't sell those. Alright. I guess I can't sell things that own... Well, maybe I can sell wall hangings, but not these kinds. I mean, I'll use them for something else. It's not a big deal. What else would I like? Uh, I could sell some playing cards. These guys love playing cards. Thank you, shopkeep. Right. Let's figure out how to breed some pets, shall we? I'm going to read what the description says and I'm going to set about doing it. Which means probably looking up how to get more berries. I also need to get another sheep. After the one I brutally murdered. I'll do that as well. Okay. So. Breed some pets. If you put two pets of the same species in an animal house together, they might just pair up and have a cute little baby. Make a pair of cats or dogs as happy as possible and feed them a mulberry. You might wake up to a happy surprise in the morning. Okay, so. I will find out how to do that. See you in a second. Okay, so apparently I'm in the hands of the gods when it comes to that. Uh, because I need to wait until these crops grow. And when the different types of crops grow... Then they will occasionally grow uh, strawberries of a different colour, and that's all mulberries uh, are. There's nothing particularly special about them. I thought you could get a strawberry and add something else to it to make it a mulberry, but apparently it's just a strawberry will occasionally grow a different colour when certain conditions are met. In this case, the condition is... Um, Whatever the fuck they feel like. No, it's just it's just time. And a, a random chance when you grow things. Also, the reason why this robot's here is because I uh, I got him 
from a, a mission in one of the ice zones. And he's apparently really good at farming. Don't ask me why. I haven't got a scoobly do. But yeah, we just have to wait for those crops to grow. So that means I can't do that right now. Which means instead I'll go over here and do this. Okay. Build lots of different rooms. Build a spa resort. Okay. I'm going to figure out how to do this. Try building a steamy spa immediately adjacent to a music hall to make a spa that's a treat for all the senses. Large music hall. Build lots of different rooms complete. Ho oh, ho ho, another challenge complete. I see c -c cracking job, Josephus. Oh, would you look, look at that? It's a mini medal. Yay! Thanks. Josephus requires a mini medal. Josephus builds a spa resort, which also is a tablet target complete. Ho oh, oh, ho ho, another challenge complete. I see c -c cracking job, Josephus. Oh, would you look, look at that? It's a mini medal. Thank you. If you can complete three more tablet targets, I'll make the bottomless pot yours even better. better. To the pip 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 for now. Bye. This is where I get my sheet music out and I can start playing some songs, right? Now, I don't know if the, the townsfolk will join me. But let's try. Here we go. Oh, it did not work how I thought. Okay, I thought this just allows you to play anything. I thought maybe you'd get the, the piano of the song and the lyre of the song and the drums of the song. It doesn't really matter. It limits my interest in it a bit, but it's not a huge deal. Okay, so yeah, this is the music hall. It gets its own song as, or own theme as well. Lots of things get their own theme in this game. This is the place where you come to relax. Have a dip in the spa. If I can just increase its fanciness a little bit more. Oh, I know how to do that. I'll just, I'll, I'll just add some candelabra. Easiest way to always add a bit of fanciness is to add a silver candelabra. Do, 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 do. 
But I want all the rooms to be like two star fanciness. That makes sense to me. Either way, this crop shenanigans are, are going well. I built the the spa, so maybe they want something else from me now. Have you been putting cooked food in here for me? Oh yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Thank you. I'll be taking all this all this uh, cactus steak too. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Right, let's check a tablet target and then we'll end for today. Just so I know what I'm going for next. New things. Build 45 different rooms. Use every colour. Befriend lots of different monsters. Find more residents. Make lots of different kinds of food. And then 3 of 8. I guess that's even more monsters. Okay, right. So... Next time, I guess I'll make lots of snowfield because that should be easy. And then use every colour as well. See you then. Goodbye.